Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. Attention please, the train 730 is arriving at station SPS in two minutes. Ooh, my train arrives. Now <laughs> as you can probably guess we're gonna play My Train Arrives. This game comes out on the 10th of September, but I was very lucky to get the key beforehand, so thank you to the developer for that. And now let's go. So the way this game works is that you have seven levels. And each level you can play in multiple different options. We're gonna play the campaign mode, which essentially you kind of have a task like carry X amount of passengers in a certain amount of minutes. Then you can also have survival, which I think is really interesting. Where you kind of play until you get too high of a queue on some station, or on any station, I should say. And that's really interesting. I think it's especially difficult if you have like transfer stations because. Like, not all the passengers leave even if you get the train there, so it can be pretty rough, but it could be very interesting. Then we have evacuation. Evacuate 900 passengers to a particular station, also very cool. And relaxation is kind of like a sandbox mode. So we're going to play the river crossing, and we're going to play the campaign mode, carry 1,500 passengers and a total of 350 units of coal, oil, and containers in 18 minutes. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to tell you how it works myself, so I'm just going to close this and pause the time so we don't lose too much time because we have to, the time is pretty close, so we're going to have to end it. So the way this works is that you, you first build a train tracks, then you create a route, and then you put the trains on it. Now, what's very important here in this game is that the people, they have incredible faith in their mayor because the mayor tells them that he's going to open this station and they go, even if there are no train tracks, they'll go there and they'll wait for a train. I'm like... Guys, just, just, I'm not there yet. It's gonna take me months to build a train track just to wait. They're like, no, the mayor told me that it's going to be here, so I'm going to be ready. I'm like, but come on, I'm just like, I'm not even, it's just gonna really take long. And they're like, the mayor's name is Simon. And when Simon says, you do what he say. So I'm like, of course, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my mistake. Let me just start building the tracks. So the way this works, like I said, is that the people in the station, they'll already start lining up. And you, then you need to build the stuff to connect. So you want to always kind of look at what is open. You can either figure it out by clicking this on the left or you can click on the building rail, railroad and you're going to see here when there's like a special sign above this thing, these two things, then it means that it's open. Over here it's not open yet so nobody is waiting. Now because the people start to line up already you might end up in situations that people for example in this train station they will be waiting to go here uh, once this station is open. Not If it's not open then they're not going to wait for that. So, for example, these guys could wait over there, but if I haven't connected it, they will kind of be building up on the station. So then it might seem like, uh, you know, like you're not connecting, like you have, for example, 50 people waiting and you might think, oh, they're all, I need to add a train to the route between these two. No, they're, because they're waiting for something else. That's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to start this off by just connecting these two stations. And I am thinking, how do we want to connect it? We should probably connect it with the lower one like that. I'm going to probably go through this, maybe, and maybe onto this station so we can straight up get the connection. And then we'll try to go like that. And maybe like this. And we'll go over and we'll connect it completely. Now I'm going to cre create a route that goes over it all. But I think over time we're gonna try if we can to maybe separate them into two different routes, like one going like this and one going like that. If that's gonna work, we'll see. But we we would have to have one connecting spot anyways. Well, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm just gonna create locomotives. Now I have different options. Each locomotive has a different maximum speed, price, and different pulling power. So what do you typically at the start? I pick these 5,000 ones, max speed 25, pulling power 550. So let's place some of these over here. And we can pick the passenger wagons. I'm just gonna go with ones. They have slightly lower max speed, these ones. But they cost 800, so I can put uh, five of them there. So it's gonna be 40. So I can take 40 people. Or I could go for this one, which are a little bit faster, but they're quite a bit more expensive. And I could only have... Oh, actually, I could have four of these, which takes also 40 people. And it allows the train to go faster. So we'll go with this. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this is going to go over here. Do we want to build straight up two from the beginning? I think we might. I think it could be useful. So I'm going to straight up build a second one like this. One, two, three, four. Uh, four, sorry, like that. So we're going to have two locomotives handling one, two, and three stations. These two stations are closed for now, but eventually they will open. 
Now, another thing we got to start working on from the beginning is the freight trains. So we, which one is open? This one's open and this one is open. And that's it. Oh, and this one is open. So we could create a connection between this one and this one. Possibly we could connect it up onto this as well or not. I'm thinking maybe we don't even connect it. Like we could try to go maybe like this. The important thing is that you cannot cross different train tracks. So you want to kind of think about how you're going to place this thing. Instead, if you want to cross, you need to sort of connect. So let me show you. I cannot do this, but I could create a connection like that. And then another like this, which essentially allows me to cross it. So that's kind of something to watch out for. Like for example, if you were to go like, oh, I cannot go through that three. I could go like that, so I'm just going to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go like this. Let me check if I can turn. Yeah, we'll go like that. So we're just going to connect these two sort of quickly. And then once this train is, uh, freight station is open, we might connect it there because otherwise I think it would be a lot of extra time just moving over there. So let's go building a freight locomotive with 34,000 money, which is quite a lot. So that's pretty cool. I am thinking we probably want to go for this one. It has max speed of 20, which is pretty low, but the pulling power is 1,500, which is great. So first we need to create the route. I kind of forgot about that. Do we want to go up or down? I think we might want to go... No, we probably want to go up. And we'll create a locomotive like this. And I'm th we can pick between these two wagons. So this one costs 800 max speed 20. This one has higher max speed, but that's useless because my local locomotive only has a max speed of 20. And it takes four, four uh, oil with 200 weight, and this is three oil with 150. So we'll take the cheaper one. So one, two, three. So that allows me to take nine oil. One, two, three, which is going to be nine coal. And one, two, three. Four is eight materials because this only takes two and I can add two more of these. So let's add two more of these. Do it like this. And we still have 13,000 left. So I'm thinking let's start building possibly this station is not. Wait, this station is open. It is. These two stations are open. So we could create some sort of connection between these two. Or we could try to connect this to over there. We do need to have circular uh, roads though. Uh, circular, um, you know, routes. I am thinking maybe something like this. Can you go across? That's my question. I have, I have the money for it. I can go, uh, I have to go across up here, which is kind of irritating let's just see is there really no way i can cross this anywhere i don't think so because we have the the trees and everything so i have to cross over here which is not great so we'll try to i don't know go like that and then like this and then we can connect this in like that oh that was a that was a mistake we'll do it like that and go now go down and we'll create a route we don't have the money to actually do we want to go up or down i think we want to go up because if we think about this like eventually we might want to connect this station to over there no but this is going this way so we have to go down okay go down there okay that's i did that wrong we'll try this again like that and i'm going to build just like a locomotive with maybe one wagon if we're doing the expensive ones right yeah and i'm going to add more later you can add to locomotives that are kind of in transit which is pretty cool so we're gonna do that and we can also sort of like follow so i can click on this train and we can follow it and we can also see like the information what is the current max speed max speed without overload average speed and the current speed how many people have we have delivered on board or the capacity so you can see we're right now we're going to get a four people on board hopefully so we only taken one so so the problem here is that some of these people are maybe waiting to get over there and right now we just don't have that connection so that so they're not really jumping on the train 
So that's something that ideally we would like to fix. I don't have the money for it, so not yet. But eventually, we want to create like a connection maybe between this station and that station. And then it could join with the freight station. Now, oh, that could work. And then have a separate connection between these two. That, that could work. And then this is going to be like a, the middle point between these, these uh, things. That, that could work pretty well. Also, we have people waiting here. So what if I create a connection like this? Um, I think we have to go a little bit earlier with these turns. Okay, we'll go like that. Now, do we want this track to share the freight track? Or do we try to kind of turn it around beforehand? I mean, we could try to go like this. And then connect it this way. So we, we could go straight if we needed to. And then oh, we run out of money. So then we'll just go like this. And then I'm going to connect it some more. And this will allow the people from these four stations to at least go here, which is pretty good. Potentially, we could connect this to here and then have kind of like a bit of an around connection, but we could go up there as well. Okay, we've got more money, so I can build more stuff. Now, how do we connect this? So we probably want to think about like eventually... This this is probably going to share the, the right station thing, so we probably want to go like that. It's eventually going to go this way. Yeah, and maybe maybe we'll do it like this. And then with the freight station, we just go straight through over there. Oh, or we'll just share. It doesn't matter. We'll share. It's fine. Also, I can add an extra locomotive to this train. Let's do it. Let's see how filled the train is. Probably not very filled yet, is it? Now, it's two people on board. We have capacity of 20, so we're pretty much okay. Because they don't all just want to go here, some of them want to go elsewhere. So we really got to think about how we're going to make the, the separate connection, I think. But no, not enough money, not enough money for this. I want to create a train here and then I'm going to worry about connecting these loops. Because this is already connected, so this is pretty cool. There are no more uh, passenger stations down here, so that's, that's good. Okay, I can build a locomotive, but no, no. Okay, now. I'm gonna go with just the basic locomotive. So first let's create a route. Um, I think we'll go this way. Seems to make more sense to me. Why won't you let me? Oh, it's because I haven't connected it. Try this one more time. We'll go like that. And I'm going to create a basic locomotive with... I'll give it the better wagons. Let's take two. You might not even need to make it bigger just yet. Instead, I think we should really focus. Oh, new freight station has opened. This one, but not this one. So I'm not going to connect it just yet. It's going to be a very simple loop there. Oh, I think we went the wrong way, didn't we? Because I wanted to... So I have to loop this kind of around. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Could have done this the other way, I think. Because then could have connected over there and go down. It's, it's going to be fine. Okay, new passenger station is open up here. So right now what we want to do is we want to connect this to down here and then ideally to there or to or just to here. Yeah, we could go just to here. That's quicker. So we're going to go on the left, I think. And I'm going to try to go down here. I'm just going to connect over here, go through, go like this. Or was that the best choice? I don't know. Can I? Yeah, I can go. Yeah, that's okay. We'll go over there and we could just go straight back or we could try to grab this in as well. I think we'll try to grab this in as well. Go up, connect it. Now at this point, okay, I, I missed that. You can also remove tracks, but we don't really need to worry about it. I think right now all of our stations, passenger stations at least, are connected, which should be great. Because now we shouldn't have so many people. What? Why didn't the route go? Let me try the route again. No. I want it to go the other way. I want you to go down and then up. Okay. Now I'm going to put a locomotive here with uh, just one wagon for now. Okay. Go. And 
Now, so, okay, so now I mean, these two are connected to this with this one and that one. So with all these four, okay, so everything is connected now. So now we should have, um, so you can see already like this went down to da nine because now this is full and it wouldn't have taken it all because uh, until now, like they, there was really no reason to because there was no way to get there. But now it should be really cool. So the problem is that this like connecting train, it has like nothing, like no, no locomotives. And it's going to need a lot because this is like our main connection thing. I'm even thinking about putting two locomotives. Yeah, I think we should because this really is going to do the most stuff. I think we're going to place the second locomotive up there and go with one. Oh, I cannot even go with one. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll let it go then. We didn't lose the money for the locomotive. We can then take it for free, which is pretty cool. So now if I click on the train, you can see that I already kind of have one already. Oh no, I clicked it. Ah, oh, I sold it. I didn't mean to sell it. <laughs> I wanted to take it, but instead I accidentally sold it. Okay, never mind. We'll wait a little bit longer. Yeah, now. And I'm going to place a locomotive here and put the big wagon on it. Just one for now, but it's gonna be okay. There are 116 people waiting at this station. That's a lot of people. How much is this train gonna go? On board 30? Are we gonna take them all on board? What's gonna happen? Yeah, we're up to capacity, which is understandable. Okay, we can buy some more of these. Let's do that. Now, should I also start thinking about the freight stuff? Because, freight stuff, because, yeah, but this is, this is still not open. And like, I don't know if like second locomotive here is worth it. How are we doing? Yeah, we just barely have anything on board here. New passenger station is open over here. Perfect. New freight station is open down here. Good. So then I'm I want to connect this to there. And like in this sort of weird way around. And eventually I'm going to get a locomotive for this. Now we should theoretically have some sort of freight connecting these two, or at least these two. That could be pretty good. I'm just gonna go for a basic locomotive, even for the freight, I think, because it's just sim similar with the passengers, just usually quite empty. So I think we'll go like that. And I'm going to place just a completely regular locomotive and put like, I don't know, like... One of these, one of these, oh wow, I don't know if we can, yeah, we can fit them all, and a couple more for the wood. It's gonna be very, very empty thing. We, we might change it for the other locomotive at some point. But right now, I think we, we gotta connect maybe these two things, because, yeah, that could work, actually. Because if you think about it, we just have to create kind of like a loop here. Have it go back, and then we just create like a connection over there. So like, you go straight through, oh you can go through that? Is it just because I'm out of money? No, I just can't go straight through that. Okay. I'm just gonna have to place it. How do I go through then? I'm gonna create a bridge right now. Really? No bridge? What about a bridge here then? Can you do that? Yes. Then we'll have to go like that. And like this. Like that. Okay, that's good. Then we can go into this and back up. Alright, but we're gonna need to create well, actually, if you have only one station, it might, uh, if you have only one locomotive doing that, it might still work. Okay, fine. We should remove that. Okay. I want to go down here. Like that. Wow, 
like this and we'll also remove this part and over here we need to kind of create a loop Okay, that's, that's going to be very interesting. And it, oh, this is a very small loop, so we need to have a locomotive that's not going to get stuck. On Actually, maybe we should just make this bigger. That seems a bit too much. Let me just like remove this. Oh, we definitely need to make that bigger. Okay, so let's try this one more time. We'll go up a little bit more. Turn, turn. Yeah. Oh, we're out of money? Ah, uh, almost there and we were out of money. It was a very complicated connection, but I think it should work. But we'll see. We'll see if you get mad, mad at me or not. I haven't really done anything like this in my test game, so we'll see. Wait for 5,000 money. We have a lot of people. We're not going to have problems on getting enough people, I think. that's That seems like that's going to be easy. The, the fright stuff, though, I'm a little worried about that. Especially because this one's kind of small, but it's still not at full capacity, so... You might need to change it later. Do we want to buy the big one for this, or the small one? Actually, I'm thinking, what if we just took this one and moved this one to... Oh, it cannot go through? Let's try this one more time. If I tell the route to go like that, go through this, and then over there. No. Kind of hoping that will work. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to create a second thing then. Uh, how am I gonna work? So then this has to go. Like that. Kinda sad though. Why doesn't this not let me go through? Let me go through somewhere else. And turn on the thing, okay. So we'll go this way, this way, straight through like that, around, and then that. Then if I do the route again, I'm just gonna go down, through... Oh, it has to be the other way, doesn't it? One more time. Okay, well, let's start up here. We have to go down there up here around this like that around that down and into this and I was thinking we'll grab this smaller locomotive and put it over there now you know what we'll, we'll just wait wait we can have a bigger one because this one is now going to be like a connection thing a new passenger station opened up here okay so we're gonna need to connect that somehow to get out soon Okay, I have enough money for like the bad locomotive or the good one, but no wagons. Let's wait. I, I want to put the good one, good one on this big thing. So we're going to take the good one and we're going to place it over here. And we could place like one. I'm also thinking whether we should go over here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pause. And we're going to grab this and we're going to send it to the depot. And we're going to sort of uh, change that. Oh, we sold it? No, what did we do with it? Oh yeah, okay. I, I don't want to place it anywhere. Uh, I can sell it or split the train into wagons. Yeah, that's what I want. So now we get all of this stuff for free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one locomotive over here and one locomotive over here. Then I'm going to place two Right, wagons on this one and one on that one, two on this one and one on that one, and three on this one and three on this one. And I'm also going to try to buy an extra thing to here and to there. And we're going to say continue. 
and this should help us that we should kind of get the stuff through so this is like three different things connected this is just the two because this last one is still not open i don't think we're gonna make a connection between this and that like yes it would be useful but it seems a bit too too complicated for my taste for this we could have like the question is i think we're not gonna connect it we're gonna have like a separate route for this like that i'm not gonna put any any locomotives on that just yet. now as for the passenger stations we seem to have everything connected except this this could work this is going up yes right so if i just create connection wait um show me the routes no not like that sorry but we'll go back to this um you know what i'm just gonna play it it's the easiest way no <laughs> keep clicking on things i don't want to click on go away okay so oh, this is going uh, oh this is going up that's not great so we can't really use that up to there we'd have to create a separate line down which is i think too complicated so instead we might just want to connect it to here no that's not going to work either but we could make sure that this route goes i need this route to go down so i'm going to send this to the depot take the route and remove this one and i'm going to make sure that you go up which is what i need no i need you to go down because this goes up okay one more time so i need you to go down okay like that and then I can grab the train and just place it on the same exact same spot. That's okay. And then we can create a connection with tracks. It goes like... Oh, we can straight connect into this. So what if I make... Oh, I could just go straight here though. Like that. Allows me to go in, down, and then here I'm just going to connect onto this thing and go back up. And then this is going to go like that, like that, around this area, into here, and then down. Very nice. And we're going to grab a regular locomotive. Oh, first, we need to do the route. That goes from here, like that, into this, and into that. And we'll create a locomotive, place it with the better wagons as we always do. One, two, three, four, five. Also, this other can have a little bit more. One, two, three, four, four. Continue playing. Yes, this should be okay. This is going, this is the one that goes up. Yeah, good. Now, a couple more things. We have a lot of money. So we got it this so we're at 10 minutes we have eight more minutes i think we'll handle the passengers without problem as for the freight we are at uh, i guess we could go at half speed we are at 150 so we're exact exactly at halfway points so i definitely need more of these uh freight things are you at capacity you are so i think the we need to sort of send this to the depot switch it into the wagons i think and we're going to sell the locomotive Oh, but we're selling it for half money. So instead, I'm going to buy a new locomotive. Uh, this one. Put the stuff back on it. And I'm going to use the other locomotive for like some of the passengers, I think. Let's add a bit more stuff like that onto this. Good. And where could we use this? That's the question. So we could actually check this, our train routes. No, not, not that. We can see how much income they make. Which is pretty cool. So which one makes the most? Oh, this one doesn't make any money, actually. This one makes the most money. So it's this one over here. And how filled are the trains? Oh, they're pretty filled. So I think we'll put the last trains over here. So we're going to grab the locomotive. Put it over here. And give it, as usual, one, two. We can only do two, so we'll just do two. I want to help out. And I'm going to follow this one because I want to kind of see how it moves. How many are you going to take on board? Theoretically, you should take all of them because these four are connected to absolutely everything. 
Yeah, this could really take a lot more maggots, I think. One, two. But then again, passengers are not really our focus right now. It's the fright. Because we have, we have uh, seven more minutes. Like, how is this going? That's my question. You. Hey, you don't have anything because I placed you after a station, which is not the best move. You're going around. You should... Well, it's probably not going to be fully filled up, but like, maybe? I don't know. I hope. Three, three. Yeah, six, two, four. So clearly some of these are trying to get to over there. Is there any way we could connect it? What would be the quickest way? Well, this is going up. That could connect onto there. But this is going up as well. Well, we could connect on the on the regular trains through here. And then... But how would we connect it? So we would go down like that. Through this. The thing is, we can go like that. We could go over to the right. Just turn over here, then go back to the left, and then join like that. Maybe actually like this. That'd probably be better. And then over here, we would go up and into this freight station. And then... To there, and then to here. Oh, that's a really strange line. So then we go back up down here, and here we want to connect onto this. Go through that, go down into this. So, so that's going to work. However, I think the problem is that's going to stop a lot of our trains quite significantly, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to start over here. We're going to go like that, through this, over to here, upwards, into this station, down through this and connect it in and we're gonna grab a big a big locomotive the, the, the you know the thing is this locomotive only goes at speed of 20. maybe we'll take this one the 8000 one because i don't want it to slow down my other trains too much we'll take well we have to take the better wagons though one two three four I only really add one more. I don't have the money for it right now, but eventually we can add like one more, which is really fun. <laughs> the thing is, like, this should be the biggest locomotive and not just like such a tiny one that we currently have. We're gonna need to add like an extra locomotive on that, I think, and just try to have better point power. But, like, this is, yeah, this is filled up already. So I'm going to add a few more of these. Well, one more, I guess. And then eventually we could add an extra locomotive like that. Increase my pulling power, but I don't have the money. Eventually I'll have the money. But 12 minutes, 1,098 passengers. Ooh. Are we gonna make it on the passengers even? That's my question. This is pretty rough. Okay, pause, 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 pause. We're going to add an extra locomotive on this thing, like I said before. And we need extra wagons. One, two, one, two, and one, two, one. Okay, that should be okay. We'll continue the time. We'll go at one speed, I think. I, I want to follow this one. Because I think, oh, okay, we'll go at 1.5 speed. So, yeah, so it's going, it, it, it does slow things down. Like, this one's going to have to, well... Yeah, the one after that is going to have to wait a bit. There's going to be waiting involved, but I think it could help out. The fact that we can take 12 of each, we can take 36. It's quite a lot. That's cool. And it's leaving some stuff for the other stations, maybe? Like for this one? It's going to be more filled up now? Maybe. Okay, we have all the money, so we got to stop staring and start building stuff. So. Okay, we are at almost 1,500 people, so we don't need to worry about that. 
210 in this rate. So I think we need just like an extra locomotive like this. That seems to be helping out the most. We could build the 10,000 one. It has a low pulling power though. I think it's better to maybe have like the these guys. One, two, three. One, two. It doesn't have any oil, but like I'm fine with that. Again, I just want to check. Can you take the whole thing on board? 12 and 6. Yeah, get it. We have money for another one. Ooh, it's really gonna slow us down on stuff. I am thinking actually, is this one? Oh, we haven't even built one here. Okay, we gotta do that. I completely forgot about it. So we'll create a route like that. And we'll add a locomotive like this. Now we can have one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, there's a lot more stuff I can put on this. Maybe we should take this one and move it over. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be okay. Because like the benefit is they're gonna grab the stuff from here to there, which I think is gonna count. It's gonna give us a bit more stuff. Can I put any more stuff on you? Because I've got the money. Oh, it's gonna lower the speed, so no. I have to add another locomotive, which I don't have now. We are at 240 and we have five minutes. I think we'll handle it, but it's gonna be pretty close. How filled is this completely? And you? They're also pretty filled. You, you're not on the same route as that though, are you? You're going where? Yeah, you're going home. Okay. Ooh, we, we, I mean, we need 100 of each. We should be able to get that. We do have that time. Let's just follow something. We're just gonna relax and follow this this beautiful train. Follow. We have forty-two thousand. Oh, this is the one that goes up. This is the one that takes our crazy route with the two bridges right next to each other. We did it in fourteen minutes and fifty-five seconds, and total in income two hundred and twenty thousand. Ooh, that was really good. I quite enjoyed that. So this is my train of eyes. Write me down in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you'd maybe like me to play the survival mode, because uh, sorry, the escaping mode. I think that would be really interesting. I, I think quite into that. And you can click on the right top to watch Rail, which is a different uh, sort of train themed puzzle game. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch I wonder if you have anything else that's possible. I mean, maybe make war. It's not exactly a puzzle game, but it, it requires quite a lot of thinking. So that's pretty interesting, I think. See you in one of those. Bye bye.